Hey, what's up everyone? It's an exciting day. It is the <clears throat> first day we're gonna go out and try some mushroom hunting. So me and Jace driving in the Danger Ranger and we're gonna go yes, drop off Fierce and River at school. There he is. And then we're gonna go see what we can get into. So stick with us and cross your fingers for us because the first time of the year is always really difficult. They're always really small, really camouflage and no one else in Oklahoma has found one yet but a lot of times we are the first people to find one in Oklahoma every year so definitely wish us luck and how many do you think we'll find let us know in the comments down below all right it is March 7th dropping the kids off for school before we go here we are to come to the gymnasium where they drop off for breakfast oh man it's tight in the danger ranger ain't it I can't even get out it was so there you go pretty. love you have a good day. Where do we go to get a receipt? From is gonna get us a little, gonna get us a little, maybe a shake and a receipt. That way we can take a picture. Hey, that one's open for the fine folks. Anyways, we need to get a receipt for. What do you want? That way we can show the people. Thank you. All right. Oh man, did they make it hard enough to read? Store number. Something, something, 1217 North Broadway, Tecumseh, Oklahoma, on 3-7. Well, we got the dates pretty easy to read, but boy, you can barely read the Tecumseh. But now we have this to put beside the first mushroom we find, so y'all guys can believe us that we're not just making up our date and time on this video. All right. I'm sure y'all have seen everybody get shakes before, so we'll be back with you in a bit. All right. We're in the woods. Conditions look perfect. The ground's a little moist. Now when you're mushroom hunting, you don't need much. It's uh, it doesn't take much. You know, I like to take a pocket knife just to cut them down nice and clean. You can pinch them off or pull them, but you really want to leave the, the base of the shroom in the ground to help to give yourself a chance of more coming back the next year. And also you don't want dirt on the rest of your shrooms in your bag you want to and if you're going to sell them or give them away you want them to look nice and professional so a nice clean cut from a from a pocket knife is good and other than that you know always wear a pair of jeans because this is what happens to them and uh, i'm wearing an old pair today because you know the the briars you, you really shred up some jeans going through the briars and i always take paper sacks paper grocery sacks um I know I've tried the the bags with holes in them before, but the, if you get more than a pound or two of shrooms in your sack, it'll start grating the ones in the bottom of your mesh sack because, like a cheese grater, and they'll start getting all torn up. And not to mention that they can, the bag can get caught on briars, cedar trees, little bushes, but those paper sacks kind of protect it if you get slapped by a cedar branch or or a briar, it usually won't tear too bad, especially if you double sack them. And then also that's the best thing to store them in, in the refrigerator. So when you get home, they're ready to go right in the fridge. Best way to store them, they'll keep for seven to 10 days in the fridge in a paper sack. If you're gonna keep them longer than that, you have to freeze them or dehydrate them. All right, let's start looking. And some people say that you gotta walk slow Early in the year, I try to walk slow, but I'm kind of of the mindset, I'd rather cover more ground, walk fast. If there's enough of them out there, you're going to stumble, you're going to see one. And then you can slow down and look for his buddies, because if there's only two or three, five out, little small ones in there, anyways, it's really not worth your time. So early in the year, I try to go a little bit slow, but after that, I try to haul butt and cover ground. Feel like we could be getting more. It's always uh, one of my early spots right down in here. I just don't know what to expect today. Found one. Wow, look at that. Yep. Old faithful tree right here. I believe this is a an ash tree, I believe. And we all always have a lot of luck around ash trees, so bam check that out amazing amazing first one of oklahoma of the year i believe i have not seen anybody else post any yet he is a little guy he's a little gray but let's 
Let's cover, uncover him a bit. Morel mushroom. I'm gonna get my receipt out that we just got at breakfast. Oh, here's his buddy. See if anybody There's can one right see there. Him. If you can't see him, it's because he's right there. So there we go. And shakes. Oh, the old shroom king waited until the perfect day. I don't think we'd have found him yesterday. I, I doubt unless we'd have cleared the leaves, he'd have been half that size probably. Yeah. And um, we'd have had to get really lucky to move the leaves to see him. But that, it is the perfect timing. And look at this bullshit already. I mean, look at this crap. This, these ticks, that's the uh -oh. worst part about, one of the worst parts about shroom hunting, ticks and poison ivy. They are already out. Get off me, son. You wanna use my shroom swacker? So I always take a picture for the morale board. First on the year, alert everybody that they're here in Oklahoma. Pontotoc County, just just south of Pottawatomie County, and um, Jace bought this thing at a gas uh. station. So I'm gonna go ahead and whack the first shroom down with his weird knife he bought. All right, first one of the year. I'm gonna chop him down. He's right here, down here, and. Um, He's pretty small. He's just a little bit bigger than my thumb, but uh, you know, we're on public land anyway. Someone else, is, there's already somebody else in here I seen this morning. So somebody's gonna get him today, tomorrow. And I've left them and a lot of times they don't go very big. So you wanna get as close to the ground as you can and then just uh, cut them off flush with the ground. And then see there what you leave is the little stem there. And you get this beautiful little shroom Mm. First one of 2023 on March 7th. Thank you, Mother Nature. Oh, here's a buddy. Look, that one was hiding. Two buddies underneath him. Yeah, there. yeah, under there. I'm touching him. Finger. Two buddies there. Buddy right here. Three buddies all down yeah. there. All right. We're into them, boys. I don't know if we'll pick them all because those are those are even more tiny than the first one I found. But. <laughs> Spring is here, mushroom season is upon us, and now we have mushroom hunting, spoonbill snagging, and noodling is all we have until September. We're going to be having a lot of fun, so hope you enjoy. All right, guys, I found these two right here, and a second ago, I thought I spotted one. I started moving some leaves. Look at there. Found one. Oh, there's another one. It's a buddy. They are really tiny right now. You're having, I'm having to like move the leaves. To, oh, there's another one. Oh, oh, I accidentally bumped him off his stem. I accidentally bumped him off when I was moving leaves. But there's the first two I found. And then moving leaves, I just found one, wow. two. Look at that one way back there by three. the closer to the tree. You can only see his head sticking out. You see him yet? No. Keep moving your camera forward. Oh, right there. Yeah. Yeah, there's one. These things are camo, man, it's crazy. There's another ash tree here, looks like. You don't have to know your trees very well to be a good mushroom hunter, but it does help a little bit to recognize which trees you find them around. Sometimes, you know, early in the year, sometimes they, they do good around like ash trees or elm trees or something. And then later in the year, you, you find them under cedars and uh, there's other trees that are all in between, so. Notice those patterns that can help you out a little bit. Season, that was one in there, two. And here we go. We are going to start <laughs> cutting some down. Here is the next two I found right here. Can you see them? Three, oh shit, see? Sometimes you don't get them well. Three, four, that was a good cut. Five. I'm gonna stick them in the bag. Five. They are tiny. They don't fill up the sack very much, but that's five. Six. Seven. I think we should leave that one as a as a monitor, like come like a 
I think we'll leave that one for when we come back in a few days to see how big he's gotten. So if you guys will remember, right here by this uh, root beer bottle, point at him. This, this shroom right here, I'm going to leave him to see how he grows. I may leave another buddy or two, but I'm for sure gonna leave him. Oh, make sure he's not got any friends right here close that we're missing, but we're gonna leave him. And if you look, let's see, let's put my knife down there by him. He is, uh, what do you say? He's about half the knife blade, I'd say. If you look there, he's got that little stick thing there beside him. About half the knife blade he is. So we will see how much he grows before we come back. So you stay there. Don't forget which tree we put him by, Jace. Okay. We'll throw a little something over him so maybe nobody spots him easily if they walk through here. So counting him, that would be eight. Those are real small. Yeah. Those are gonna be ones you don't even slice up. They're so fresh though, you can just fry those up like popcorn shrimp. Just drop them in the grease, just like that, and they're gonna, they're perfect. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Is there any more right in here? I don't see any. I think there was one more right here. Oh, thirteen. Yep. That was one I remembered earlier. We kind of just glanced after that for a second. It was 13. And that's where I found the first one earlier. The very first one in the bag right there by my, by that. We're trying not to step on them. It's a delicate process and we can't see them very good. But I do remember seeing a couple more over here. Yeah, here's one. That's, is that 14? Yep. And there's 15. He's a little bit bigger hiding there behind some branches. So 14, 15. What about these? Yeah, I don't know if you want to pick those or you want me to. Okay. Okay, hold on, let me just make sure. Oh yeah, here's one. Here's another one. Here's that 16? Yep. 16, and see when you're finding them like that, you know there's gotta be, they're just so small, you know there's gotta be, oh, see there, look, look at that. I just uncovered him and he's actually bigger than a lot of them. He's just down in a little groove. 17. He's a real pretty, real pretty gray. And sometimes if you accidentally cut off a little bit of stuff, just go ahead and clean it up. You know, chop it off. Oh, that's good. Was that 16, 17? Yep. So we'll recount them later in case we miscount. It's hard to keep track of everything when you're filming. Oh, here's, here's a couple. I didn't see these earlier. 18, 19, boy, he didn't even have uh, enough stem to hardly cut. That one didn't, he was tiny. 18, 19, careful where you're stepping. <clears throat> See anything else? Not at the moment. Oh, here's one. Look at here, look at here, I just spotted this one. Oh shit, I think I missed it with the phone, but maybe you got it. Wow. Oh, there's another one. He just uncovered. I just uncovered that one. That second one. Didn't even see him until I was trying to clear the first one. There's one. Oh, what is that? 19, 20? Yep. Wait, did I already get to 20? I don't remember. I don't remember. We're going to have to recount. Yep. But, uh, I'll just say 19, 20. I may have accidentally already said the 20, but it's either 19, 20 or 20, 21. We're not gonna disturb it too much, just right by it. Just We just look right by the ones we're picking. Otherwise, we just wanna let them come out as they would. All right, Jace, so. The Mushroom Swacker 3000. Still got a little bit of dirt on there. I guess I'll just clean that up real quick. Uh, and that looks a whole lot better. There's that. And then I got Here. one more big one. Like, look, see? There's one right here. Where? Probably, can't look, right here. Uh oh. Under the leaf. And look, this is a leaf compared to the mushroom. They're almost the same color. So if they're under there, you can't really see them. 
I'm gonna knock this bad boy down and throw him in the bag. But he's probably our biggest one of the day, don't you think? Yep, that's a nice one. Just like that. A little bit. There we go. There she is. This will be a good eating one later. No, this isn't a psychedelic shroom. This is oh, a. Oh shit. <laughs> this is a redneck delicacy. Everybody loves these that I know of. Like Morel people mushrooms. pay good money for these morel mushrooms. They go for um, 40 plus a pound sometimes, but we just like to eat them. They, they, uh, they taste like chicken fried steak kind of when you cook them, only better. And look at these little boogers right here. Oh, there's four. I had only seen three. I don't even know if y'all can uh, see them. Yeah, I seen. There's one. one. I thought it was one of the three original. Two, three, and four right there. And we are probably really prematurely picking these shrooms. You need to let them grow just a little bit. But this right here is public land, and we want to get our mushrooms back. So before somebody can come pick them for us, we decided we'd do it today. And I've left a lot of shrooms as experiments over the years to grow. And sometimes you come back in like two or three days, and one that size will be have just disintegrated. Oh, wow. And, wow, good find. And they'll be like disintegrated <laughs> and gone. And sometimes, why don't we leave that little tiny guy, see how much leave he Leave him? Alright, so we are gonna leave one. This little fella right there. I'll take this one and that one. Oh, we're leaving two? Yeah, but I've left him, came back, and then been completely gone. I've left him, came back, and then been exactly the same size more often than not. Or like such a small difference you couldn't hardly tell. And there's been a, a small amount of times I've come back and they have gotten a lot bigger. But it honestly, they grow really fast and I think it just depends on the conditions. If you've got some nice rainy moist weather they will shoot up but they they make their little run really quick a lot of times and it's all Look different so i'm not saying Compared they don't grow for knife, right? sometimes you can find a really big one that's been growing for a couple weeks but it just just doesn't happen that often so we're grabbing them if it wasn't the first time of the year we would leave these and if we weren't on public land but we're going to go ahead and take these little awesome ones all right jace let's see i don't know what we're at at least 25. yeah what did I call? 30 on the day before we walked in here? I don't know. So we're going to leave this one right there. And I don't really know. I usually like to leave a dime or a quarter beside him because everybody knows that size really well. But I don't think I have one with me. I think I do. Oh, do you have a coin? Yeah, you may sit right around here. Oh, good. We'll leave one by the I other one. I got a too. quarter and a penny. Okay, we'll leave a penny by him. We're going to leave it. If you look, it's smaller. <laughs> well, it's bigger than a penny, taller. But its head is smaller than a penny. We're gonna leave it right there. We're gonna come back in, at in three days from now and see how big he's grown for you guys. And um, this is March 7th in Oklahoma. We'll come back in three days and see if he's grown or if somebody's picked him, you know, you never know. Since I, I wouldn't be surprised if he got lucky and made it since we're picking all of his buddies. It's hard to spot one mushroom out in the leaves, but once you locate one, you can hone in on them. All right, I'm gonna come over here Remember, by our root beer bottle, we left one over here. I kind of hit him a little bit, I think. And we're gonna leave a quarter by this one. And this is his buddy, he's a little bit bigger. His buddy is a, a tad bit bigger than he was. His buddy's a little bit bigger, so we're gonna leave this one right here. We're gonna come back in three days and see if we can find him for y'all, see how big he's gotten compared to that quarter. There you go. I don't think we have any freezing temperatures. You know, if you get below freezing temperatures, they will die, but awesome. So we're up to at least 25 shrooms. We're going to look, we're going to look around just a little bit. And, um, but you know, we just want to get a taste of them and we wanted to get on the board for the year. So we're not going for a big haul. We're not, we're not going to try to pick any more little ones besides around this one tree. So we're going to look around this tree for a few minutes. If we don't find anything, we're going to get out of here and go do some fishing. And then we will check back with you in a couple days. Thanks for watching. Thought I'd pop back in here. We're still around this one tree here looking for more shrooms. And we just spotted this mushroom. He is not a morel mushroom. I don't know what kind he is. But a lot of mushrooms like growing by each other. But I'm guessing you're not supposed to eat that kind. But do you guys know what it is? Somebody, somebody let me know. But I wouldn't recommend eating that one. At least not unless we identify it. Ow. Rosebud. I'll go ahead and um, grab him. Bamo. Should we call it? I think so. Alright, we found one more since we 
turn off the camera. I think we're gonna call it because I don't want to be smashing little guys that are about to come up. Especially since we're gonna be back here. Today. We're gonna be back here in about three days. It's supposed to rain today. Chance of rain tomorrow. I mean, if that happens, it'll help the ones that are out grow. It'll help more come up. And Friday should be a better day. We're just gonna try to not get skunked this year. We're gonna try to come back and find more than this sack right here. And we're going to bring y'all along for the journey. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. After a successful morel hunt, we like to celebrate by cracking open a cold one. Hey. Oh yeah. It's good stuff. Sweet victory.